You're listening to The Variety Show. The Variety Show. The Variety Show. And the king said, I believe, I'm a now believer now. I was a leader, but I had to leave them all. No one will ever know the things I have inside, so let them go. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes, oh my God. A man who makes men stand the enemy's friends. I will never pretend. I will never bow down to another man, even when everyone's saying I've sinned. I will never repent. That was three of us covered by Broadway Howie, and we're back to the variety show. Last week on the variety show, we were introduced to three handsome guests. Kevin, Evan, and Tom. These three gentlemen have nothing at all in common aside from one thing. Their connection to the Who's Right Cinematic Universe. On last week's episode, Evan flexed his creative muscles by having by having Kevin read his new Hamilton and Piccolo novel. Speaking of Chief Chief of Police Chiefs Hamilton... The four amigos then opined on how hard it is to work with Doug. Doug is the one thing that connects our four heroes. We got to know how each and every one of them became involved. Well, except for one of them, Evan. The show broke on a pee break, but here comes part two of this very special episode of the Variety Show. Starting now. I do not know all the nerd comments, by the way. I already forgot (laughs) where we were. Hamilton and Piccolo. uh, Piccolo. Writing a book. Season. Season of finished. Wanted to rewrite season one as a book because I couldn't listen to it again. There were a lot of issues with it. So, you know what? I'm going to take it, rewrite. Like, it's still the same story, still the same investigation, but just add new characters, expand on pre-existing scenes, change the outcome of some scenes, make it new, while still keeping the same overall story. So even if you haven't listened, or if you have listened to Season 1, there's still going to be new stuff in the book. If you enjoyed Season 1, I'd recommend picking up the book, because there's a lot new. It's not just the same thing copy and pasted. As you heard with the prologue, the original series just started with... Hamilton and Piccolo, Doug and Anthony at the body. And this is the same book that you're actually going to get published and printed and all all that stuff, right? This is the same thing, right? Yeah, this is the same. Okay. Okay. So awesome. If you haven't, nice. if you've listened to season one, there's still a lot to enjoy with this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and that's currently where we're at. I'm hoping to. Uh, write season two as a book, and then get that one published, whatever, get that out. And then season three is the one that I actually wanted to write. So it's kind of a long process to get to where I wanted to be. Yeah. But I'm having fun with it. Yeah. I've really It's all leading writing. up to, to your, your, your big, well, I don't know if it'll be your final thing, but, you know, your big, the, the big thing you've been planning. So that's nice because... Closure. Or you could release them the... like the Star Wars thing, like this is the first book, but it's actually the tr- trilogy or the sequel, and then next you re- re- release the prequel. No, I'm just kidding. That's too much already. It's already a little bit confusing. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's just but, uh... becoming a, a grand tale. <laughs> yeah. Like seven prequels. and This you know. is Evan's <laughs> Iliad. <laughs> yeah, and also I should this probably Evan's mention Bible. Like, the. The name that you'll see on the book is Jean-Luc Rhodes, not Evan Bouchard. Uh, That's because book publishers, once you get something on it with your name, you're kind of pigeon-held to that. Like, if I... Because I have ideas for other books that I want to write. Mm -hmm. And, like, original ideas, not, like, spinoffs of other shows. Like, fully original concepts that I want to write into books under the name Evan Bouchard. But if I already have a... 
comedy parody of a pre-existing show with dick and fart jokes in it, then <laughs> if I try uh, sending one of my other ideas about a person that should be going to heaven and a person that should be going to hell, getting swapped and being sent to the opposing place, which is like more drama-based story, they're not gonna likely let me publish it, at least not under that name. That's all because you don't want to be related to genital mutilation, huh? (laughs) I would be ecstatic to have my name on. Why don't you use your real name for this one and then your fake (laughs) name for the other ones? Yeah, what the hell? Because the next one (laughs) is going to be like fully original. It's not like a Doug and Anthony. It's their show pulling their characters. I want my name on the fully original. That's that's a that's a good idea. So, so are you really telling me that if you're an author who wants to work in multiple different genres, you need to have a different pen name for each genre you write in? (laughs) Why do you think Stephen King only writes horror? Stephen King writes plenty of different genres, but Stephen King, the name, is only on horror books. What? Well, how about Richard Bachman? Sorry. Richard Bachman. I thought you said Chewbacca for a second. Richard Bachman. You, you know what? You're right. I have heard of that. Yeah. Who's Richard Bachman? Okay. Is that Stephen King? That's an Stephen ego. King's like a alter ego. That he actually wound up killing. Oh, I, I never like he actually of... killed himself. I never that, heard that of does that. Sound, I'm not a big Stephen King reader, but I actually... That does sound familiar. Yeah. Oh, I haven't heard that. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. Maybe that's what I should do with all, all my well. When I release my coloring book in like twenty years, when I finally decide to do it, I'm gonna have to do it under a different name because I don't think it's gonna be like a kid's coloring book. It may be an adult's coloring book, but we'll fucking see. But um. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that that's the rundown on the Hamilton Piccolo project. Uh, another project that I've done that uh, was sort of big was Escape to Arizona Bay, a mm-hmm. short film to promote Arizona Bay coffee. As the writer, director, cameraman of that project, uh, there w- that was for the coffee company, which is no longer <laughs> around. Yeah. And I did write and film "Return to Arizona Bay" as to, like, a direct sequel to "Escape" to promote the candy company. That has been filmed. That was filmed back in February and has been like seventy-five percent edited. For a long time. Oh. And then, like, my computer freaked out. I had to, like, fully re edit it and almost lost all the files. It was a whole big mess. No. Like, technical difficulties. No. And then the editing program that I was using suddenly wouldn't take those files anymore. So I had to download a new editing software and learn that one from ground up. Oh my God. It was a giant technical mess. <laughs> Aww. And. Like, even with it 75% done, I was like, this is... And I was making it in winter, which uh, my mood is always down in winter, and I think everything I've made is terrible. Specifically in cold weather. I think that's seasonal depression or January blues or whatever. I've had that. If it's warm, I'm a happier. (laughs) And when it's cold, I'm like, this is terrible. This isn't even worth making. Like, the script is awful. The the shots aren't nearly as good as the original. Nobody's going to want to see this. So I just haven't Aww. made it. Nobody I've wants to see feeling. it, except for all of your adoring fans who want to see it dearly. I know, yeah. You just, you know, when I've come out with, like, I hate listening back to my fucking, my voice on these podcasts. <laughs> but I re-listen to it, and I'm like, no one's gonna want to listen. And then I actually get a comment. I don't know if it's just people that just need something to listen to and they say it's good i'm like well i guess at least one person likes it (laughs) but i hate looking back and i'm like i don't know if it's gonna come across well or i don't know if like like my guest is way more interesting than me so at least i have something going on for it but even when i did like youtube videos yeah i i had the same sort of like thing kind of like I don't know how this is going to come out (laughs) and I don't know if it's going to be like worth it I guess like spending all the time on it I don't care it's just how I want to Mm, I don't know how to phrase it like the content to put on the channel like is it going to go with go along with everything else I don't know so I assume it's same or similar thing 
Yeah, I mean, that's just the plight of being a creative. All creatives hate everything they've made past a year ago, and those who say they don't are lying to themselves. Yeah, but I've probably made many videos. Just, <laughs> like, I didn't even now, them, like, but... even now, like, looking at the project Return to Arizona Bay, objectively, I still don't think it's as good as the original. I do think I was way too hard on myself. So I'll probably get around to finishing that and just putting it out. And Sometimes... whoever sees it. If it makes you, I mean, it kind of sucks, especially when you want it to come from your mind and, like, something you made up, but sometimes it helps me just be like, well, what would someone else want to see or listen to? And I just kind of do that, <laughs> just because I'm like, well, it gives me a template of what to do, rather than me trying to come up with something because there's always going to be stuff that you think is good and then people don't like and then stuff you fucking hate and then everyone's like, this is the best thing I've ever seen, which I get I get upset when that happens, but ultimately I'm happy because it's like, well, I'm glad they like that. That's awesome. But then it's like, it's, it's weird because it's kind of like, you want to replicate the feeling, you want to replicate it. And that's why my show keeps changing all the time. I'm like, do we keep this one in? Do we take it out? I don't like doing it, but they like hearing it. This one's a lot to get together, and they hate it. Okay, so I should take it out. It's just like, try, just yeah, trying man. to figure it out. And I think <laughs> that's part of the uh, the issue I have with it, is because Escape to Arizona Bay, I thought, when I was first writing the original, I was like, okay, what would I expect to see if I saw, like, Doug on the Who's Right YouTube channel posting a Arizona Bay Coffee short film, what would I expect it to be? I would expect it to be over-the-top, just stupid, like, constant stream of jokes. Yeah. So let me make the exact opposite of that and make a really narratively, like, taking itself really seriously <laughs> short film that has messages about, oh, like, mental yeah. illness. <laughs> And, like, just play it completely straight until the very last shot where there's a bag of gun barrel butt sex flavored coffee. <laughs> and I think that effect came out really, really well. But for the sequel, I want to make it a direct sequel. So it's got the same tone and same, like, gimmick as the first one. But that same, like, impact of someone clicking on it and saying, oh, Doug and Anthony related short film who's right related short film this will be stupid let me click on it that like impact isn't going to be replicated because now they know okay this is a sequel so it's still gonna be same tone yeah like that you can't replicate that again hey the sequel could be a different but uh that's never stopped a fucking different EA parody. Or or anyone. <laughs> you can make it just... i mean and that is a the thing of it, because I still want to do something else uh, Arizona Bay Candy mm -hmm. related, so there's actually another project in the works. Mm -hmm. uh, as like, I'm not going to give away too many details of it, because it's still in production. Yeah, sorry. There's no... Uh, I, may, I guess this is the first time it's been publicly announced, so this is still a Mariety show exclusive. Variety exclusive! Let's go! Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Besides Return to Arizona Bay, there's another Arizona Bay related film project in the works, not related to Escape or Return or anything. Just its own thing. Uh it's Evan's still in production. Wait, what'd you say, Tom? Evan's got a trilogy going on, even though it's not directly connected. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. This is so cool. Are are you thinking of doing any additional creative projects with Doug and Anthony, or... <laughs> yeah, how I mean, haven't they turned you off yet? Why haven't they turned me off? No, how haven't they turned you off yet? Like, how are... Yeah, they, they don't complete any projects. You still want to work with them. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I mean... <laughs> they need I to mean, hold up their end of the bargain. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why I'm, like, uh, coming on here, listening to Tom, like, getting yelled at about <laughs> like changing file names and then kevin getting screamed at yeah, you on the to... bible shows getting whipped you and need it's to like, be the I... one to put them in their place they need someone yeah, like, to I've do never... that i haven't had any of those experiences like doug has been 
I have nothing but nice to he me. He is a very nice man, but he you, is. you make one slip up, like how I've made these past two weeks. I, I went a whole year without having a problem with Doug, and all of a sudden, that year is over, and it's all of a sudden, it's not a snowball, it's a damn avalanche. How did you even go a year? Dude, I got lucky. I got lucky. I don't know how you messed up so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> that says a lot about me. No, 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 no. I think I think a lot of that comes from being in the third chair, you know? Like actually oh, being just in, in the... real time. Yeah. Wow. I know that Doug and I have had like creative differences with like Hamilton and Piccolo specifically. Uh and there have been times where because Doug that was the point where Doug was moving like back and forth between his uh work and home. And he just had bad internet when he tried texting me. And I never got the text. Two separate times he has thought that I deleted and blocked his number oh my God. from my phone. <laughs> Two separate times he has believed that when I just didn't get did it. Did he just it's accept it or did he like try to contact you and yell at you? Obviously, probably well, not. Well, he yell got mad when, <laughs> when I went on the show for like listener episodes, <laughs> he would bring it up and be like, You haven't replied to my. Uh, text. And I was like, what text? I never got a text. He's like, oh, I thought you blocked me. I was like, the first time was like, no, I would never do that. The second time he thought he blocked me, I was like, you didn't remember the previous time you thought that? Oh my god. But, oh, that's more funny than like, Boom that's not over. aggravating to me, at least. I, I just my, think it's funny. My question is, how much shit are the four of us gonna get for peeling back the curtain this far? I don't know. I feel, I feel like listen. Doug expecting this. I just ex- I I assume he's not gonna listen. Then if he does, then good. He ne- he needs I'll to send know. It to him. <laughs> <laughs> Evan's gonna send it to him. Like I don't know. Like, uh, Doug's been been nice to. For me, maybe I haven't had any big mess ups yet, or he, or I have, and he just like hasn't aired it out to me. Well, I or like I know there was that bit when he was talking about the production of the book, and I was like me taking over creative control, and he was like, "Everybody's fired! I, I don't, everyone's out." <laughs> but that I think that was just like playing maybe it that's up him taking creative control over his part. <laughs> and I don't want anybody to get it twisted either. Like I don't think any of us are shit talking them. We're just mm. being. I am. I hate Doug. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, Doug's I've been had nice. Doug no, Anthony, no, 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 no. on the other hand, <laughs> Anthony. Anthony I, had son of a gun. I don't even commu- the one or two times I've communicated with Anthony, he he doesn't really even seem to care to talk to me, so I really don't know anything about Anthony. I'm not gonna lie. Doug is is the one I speak to the most, but yeah, he's 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 a good guy. Um, it's just hard on his show. I don't know. Uh, I, I still don't know if it's a character. I don't know if that's him. Don't really understand it, but. Just working with him on his show. In the background, I think, you know, it's been fine for, like, messaging back and forth or just, you know, whatever I have to ask him. Uh, hey, how do you do this for the podcast? Do you do this? Whatever. Um, it's been fine. But my appearances are my one, maybe, I had another appearance, but it was, like, one of the uh, the talent show things. That wasn't really a talking back and forth thing, but... When it was actually communicating with him, speaking to him, <laughs> that's difficult. <laughs> that is a difficult thing to do. Um, well, D- Doug's cool, I guess. I mean, I mean, if if it wasn't for Doug and I guess Anthony too, uh, we we wouldn't all be here. Um, True, I think we wouldn't have found each other. Yeah. Oh. The real who was right was the friends we made place. along the way. All my brothers, my white brother. <laughs> The, your my, identical my two, tw- triplets. <laughs> my my two brothers and sister. Yeah. I'm only keeping it together for the show. After this is over, I'm blocking all of you. Fuck. <laughs> Fair. I respect that. Fair. I, I respect knowing that beforehand. I, can I get a poll from you guys, actually? I, yeah. I, so, this has been eating at me for for years now. I need to okay. know how you guys say it. How, how you guys say it. Do you say Piccolo or Piccolo? Because I... I started off saying Piccolo because that's how it's spelled, but it seemed like right away everyone like banded together and decided independently to pronounce it Piccolo. So as the episodes went on, I'm thinking, okay, should I switch it, or would it be funnier if I just stick to saying it the way I've been saying it? Well, how do you say the woodwind instrument? 
Piccolo. 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 You don't put emphasis on the second syllable. I was in, I played trombone in a symphony for seven years. I'm pretty sure it's pronounced Piccolo. Are you serious? I don't believe it. Who's the Dragon Ball fighter? Yeah, how do you say his name? Well, that's Piccolo. (sighs) It's spelled the same way. So, so Operation Gaslight Kevin has not worked, I see. So now we need uh, Mariah's answer. Um, so what's your answer, I, Mariah? I feel like I thought it was Piccolo, but I could be wrong. I think Evan maybe told me it was Piccolo. Or maybe so, it was the opposite. But I definitely at first read it as Piccolo, because I don't know many things about instruments. Yeah, because you're a smart person. No wait. Oh, no, maybe it was no. I cool. mean, no wait. I think I said it the opposite way. Oh god, I'm getting confused now. God damn it. Okay, yeah, no, I'm no, a smart I'm person. SD. Let's stick with that one. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, as the author, do you want me to reveal the answer? Yeah, I want oh, everything. <laughs> yeah, let's let's get the the real answer. There's like a though. drum roll coming up. The keen viewer may have noticed that throughout this whole episode. I've been switching how I pronounce it between Piccolo and Piccolo. Oh my god! Oh my god. That's why I wanted to that's, ask. That's because I have never given it any thought. I didn't even realize. When, when so Kevin weird. on the first episode said Piccolo, I was like, "All right, yeah." I'd never thought about it, and then later in that same episode, when Doug and Anthony said Piccolo, I, it never even registered with me that the pronunciation switched. I never gave it any thought. Uh, so. The true pronunciation is whatever your heart desires. I hate this answer because I'm that, confused. <laughs> that was going to be like my honest answer instead of like trying to gaslight like Kevin. I thought it was just kind of funny. It Thank was you. whatever they felt in the moment. <laughs> also, Kevin. I thought it w- it ended up being funnier in the audio drama, hearing different people pronounce it differently. I thought like that just kind of made for an unintentional bit, like a recurring gag throughout the whole series that was completely unintentional and it feels natural too yeah like nobody's you're i mean nobody's being forced to say one or the other in real life though like if you have a friend with a silly name i'm sure people do that same thing though like they're always going to pronounce it wrong if they know it's silly or it sounds like another word that they know um people do that too just naturally so i think that's kind of cool it gives it a human human personality you feel I don't a know human touch <laughs> and it leads to lots of engagement when the commenters argue back and forth the comments <laughs> about how it's I would, I would like that I would like your take so I like your take Mariah I just think I would like it more if it was if the name was a word that was actually hard to pronounce <laughs> <laughs> no this one's hard I mean if you were a kid you'd probably be like pick Colo eh? pick Colo Anyone? Are we kids? Shut the fuck up. Never mind. He's the <laughs> you are. Hey, Kevin, are you okay? I'm supposedly like a, a ancient person, just like Tom. So, I mean, maybe you are a kid. <laughs> I don't I'm, I don't mean to. In, I, I, I'm I sorry for my outburst. No, it's fine. Like I said, this has been eating don't at me for years. Take your rage out on I us, I needed buddy. your answer. I'm taking my rage out on all three of you. <laughs> Listen here, Buster. When you don't deserve it. <laughs> uh, don't make me come over there. I will lay the smack down. I will kiss you on the lips. I don't care. (laughs) I I really want to have him over. I'm looking a little bit of foreplay. All right, guys. All right. Yeah, come over. (laughs) I'm I'm, I'm, I'm down now. Now I'm in. No surprise this has turned gay. It only took two hours, but, you know, um, (laughs) it's okay. (laughs) I mean, there was a lot of gay sexual tension from the start. I don't know. Uh, There was no doubt it was in the. This is only where it was leading. We're. I think the you're very first thing Tom said, you're, you're a handsome man, Kevin. <laughs> Actually, this isn't even a joke. As Before we even started recording, I turned my webcam on and Tom said he wanted to kiss me. Oh That's actually God. true. That's so not it, was, even a joke. it was minus two hours, minus negative time since we started recording. <laughs> if we're playing golf, we're way under par. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. If Aww. any of you make a comment about me being an old man and playing golf, I'm going to poke you right in the ear. <laughs> Nerd. Golf I is just boring. Golf is lame. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys don't <laughs> if you don't like the excuse to go out and drink and drive on a beautiful piece of land, what are you missing? Dude, I, there's a I perfectly good highway right down the road. I can drink and drive there. <laughs> As God <laughs> truly intended. <laughs> right. Uh, honestly, I feel like we've 
I mean, there's a bunch of other people associated with the Who's Right universe, but I honestly think you guys are kind of the main ones anyway, especially with how involved Kevin is now. If it was maybe a couple months ago, I don't really know. Yeah, um, Kevin, you're just fucking nobody. <laughs> Can I uh, shout out a few other people real quick, just by name? Oh yeah, go ahead. Yeah, shout them out, and then if you want to explain who they are real quick, um, uh, if you want to shout out, first let's go over Nugget. Um, absolutely crazy, crazy girl. Um, she, she was oh, on the Variety Show episode, but she has been an awesome person to work with, even though she talks a lot. Um, she is a saint. <laughs> Uh, I guess Brady. Brady was on there at some point. I don't know if... Are you guys familiar with Brady? He was on there in earlier 2019-ish yeah, days? I the Brady lore never ceases to amaze me. I don't know if they he's spoken about much anymore, but there was a time he was on quite frequently, so he's kind of fell off of that podcast. He, he moves to different podcasts. He's trying to be friends with Boogie2988 right now. Oh my and stuff. god. So, <laughs> yeah, but... Um, I could see that. Why would he... <laughs> he's that's just what he does he likes he likes becoming friends with them and trying to mooch off them or something i don't know anyway brady brady was on there at some point um uh those and then uh, there's cardiff oh sorry i'm just name it you shout out whoever you need to tom um with just... uh, real quick start naming um, names the man the myth the legend kevin curley kevin, kevin curley can See? i say something about this no. yes please <laughs> he sounds bad because i am <laughs> Because Are you the Kevin Curley? Because the very first time I was on the Bible show, I specified, just so you know, I'm Kevin, KTB. I am not the same person as Kevin Curley for you who is right listeners. Uh -oh. And to this day, I, I still see comments on the Patreon, on the Spotify, from people saying, like, who are assuming that I'm Kevin Curley. That's not true. <laughs> he has a lot of mistaken identity, Curley. as I said. I have I a lot of mistaken like, identity. I just... <laughs> That's funny, though. So, so I'm going to make the... Oh, Go yes. ahead, Mariah. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I think you explained Kevin Curley to me, but can you explain this again? Because I guess people just comment this. Yeah. So... I don't get it. I don't want to <laughs> get history twisted. So if I do get this mixed up, and if I wasn't the first to do it, I blame will Tom. probably know 30 seconds. And yes, do yes. blame me. But, um... When Doug and Anthony were doing the super chats, I noticed that there was a surprising lack of Kevin Curley. Just be like he when he was shadow banned, he would throw like two dollars at him, and Anthony would just say Kevin Curley. And for a while, he went missing, as the man typically is known to do. Because if he's if he's around, he will be in that YouTube uh, super chat. So there was one day, I think it was last year. I thought it'd be funny, just to start, you know, donating money to the super chat just by saying. Kevin Curley. That's that's what I that's what I did, and uh, I feel like it spiraled out of control from there. Tom so I started, started it. All right, I think I did that. Setter. So <laughs> it started as a joke because I got a really good laugh out of Doug and Anthony. So I started doing it every week, nice. and then my other boy, Gaming Machine Eight, started thinking <laughs> about that, and then it just got to the point where everybody was naming each other in the super chats, and it still sometimes happens, but it was just like, all right. Uh, Tim the Tom Man. Thanks, Kevin Curley. Gaming Machine 8. Stripper Wife Amber. Just stuff like that. It was just so stupid. And I know they Amber's hate my it. Favorite. Amber's favorite. Loser. 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 Thanks, loser. <laughs> Thanks. And people... I can't Wait, remember who I named. Can you give me one second? Sorry, one yep. second. I'm going to... Oh, fuck. I hope this doesn't fuck up. Sorry again. Okay, sorry. <laughs> you can continue. No, no, you're good. Um, <laughs> And we're back. Yeah. We're back. I, just, I felt... I felt it was silly to be doing that, and I know Doug and Anthony hate it when they have to read names, but at the same point, they're making money, so if they hate it, they can shove it, because they're making money, and they're getting my money. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, <laughs> also, just shout out to a few others, like Crawfather. Um, we already mentioned Nugget. So. Uh, Crawfather, you, you gotta explain these people. So, who's Crawfather? Because I had Craw never heard that name before today. Sorry, my bad. Um, you might have heard it. Sorry. <laughs> Oh no, that's I just said my bad. That was it. <laughs> you might have heard him before on a mainline episode. He came on to talk about um Mormonism. Mormonites. Okay. You crazy Wait. Mormons. Okay. Oh yeah, this is an ex Mormon guy. Okay, you guys did someone yeah. said that. Someone said that. And he's not as big as some of the other guys, but he's been around. He's a real sweet pea. Okay. Um and I hope if Doug and Anthony ever do Mormonism, 
on their Bible Patreon. I hope they have Crawfather on to kind of go over it in like in real details about like smashing the plates and soaking, as it were. They need the subject matter experts a lot of the time. They really do, even though they're going to challenge them and say they're wrong. But uh, they <laughs> they really do need those experts on to give them some more insight. Um. <laughs> we really need more soaking experts out there. <laughs> Never tell your Mormon friend you're going to soak yeah. the pan. It'll really have you wondering who's right. <laughs> but, he said um... the thing! <laughs> hey, it, okay, so I thing. actually listened to something the other day. Is it true that, because I don't think I can suffer through their very old episodes, because it just sounds very bad. Um, is it true that they started with the premise being like, they're figuring out who's right at the end of each episode. Yeah, yes. the, the first it was originally the first a debate ten, show. Like the first ten episodes really were like, "All right, guys, today's topic is uh, food stamps." Uh, Anthony's <laughs> taking this side, Doug's <laughs> taking this side, and then and a lot of the times it would obviously be one of them is faking their opinion just yeah. to have a debate, and then they would just. Really, yeah, they don't go, do that and then the episode would just be that argument. Oh. And then they get that they gave up on it after like. Yeah, I would have never episodes. listened to that. <laughs> that sounds bo- not not that just but like I don't think I would. I like just listening to people talk. I don't like listening to people debate. I guess. I mean, they naturally debate, but they're talking while they're doing it. I mean, they're poking right. fun at stuff. So the the, the, the the debates always fell apart immediately anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> in practice, it ended up just being like a normal episode, like nowadays. Oh, okay, which nice. is why they gave up on it. Nice. I mean, I like it nowadays. It's good. They have all their little games, like guess the race and stuff. Anyway, um, <laughs> I just um, want to make it clear real quick because, yeah. in case anybody who I know from work listens to this, um, oh. and if you listen to Who's Right, uh, their views do not re- reflect my opinions. I just want to get that out there right now. Oh, so we're going to reach a whole new audience. Tom's work. This is going to be awesome. So Variety Show and Who's Right. I barely have any affiliation with them anyway, I swear. Uh, but yeah, they're way crazy. They say a lot of interesting things. This is a very tame show you're listening to at the moment. <laughs> so keep that in mind. I've had to say the same thing when recommending Who's Right to people. It's like, Listen, I don't agree with like what they're saying, but they just say it in such a funny way that I can't help but love the show. You can't help but smile. Luckily, they I've, make me laugh. I've you guys saying this who's... is making me second guess. You guys are making me second guess my decision to come on here. <laughs> oh, look, we got a Nazi in the chat. Mm, actual racism. The chat only the pet. people I've recommended who's right to. Well, I don't even know if I've recommended it, but it's been my cousins because I know that they know me so i'm just like nah, and they'll they can handle anything but i have not recommended it to anyone outside of that because i don't want to like lose my job or anything (laughs) if anything happens (laughs) because that's uh for being in such a conservative area i don't i don't know if that will fly (laughs) well i just worked in the subway up the street but if they ever found out i uh helped out with this show i'd be canned I'd be yeah. making so I'd be making sandwiches on the street. I mean, I'm involved enough to where it'll be like, well, oh, that's Mariah. She's involved with this at all. That may be an issue. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> it's even worse on my end. Where you if you've me. listened to Hamilton and Piccolo, uh, specifically episode three gets really raunchy. Uh oh. <laughs> episode three, there, there's a specific location. And just the name of the location I thought was hysterical, and I still think it's hysterical, but a lot of people might not think it is. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't remember that, so I'm going to have to look that up. Yeah, everyone go look that up. I'll link it in the description so you guys can find it very easily. Send your hate to Evan. <laughs> I won't do that, personally. <laughs> TBH. But, um, you were listed off a bunch more people, Tom. You were talking about Nugget, which I also forgot to mention. She just talks about, like, her vagina a lot. I don't know why. Stuff like that. It's yeah. Really it's, weird it's sometimes. Weird. Listen, bring power back to the vagina. <laughs> she loves women's like rights and stuff. <laughs> uh, who, who else? And Jillian Anderson. Oh, and, and oh my god, Jillian, Jillian Anderson a lot. Yeah, her and um the, the Princess Diana. You know I'd who be... I'd like to show <laughs> though. Yeah, who are you shouting out? Shout him out, Evan. Is this a selected comment from uh, Mariah's YouTube channel? No way he's about to call somebody oh! out on live. 
Oh yeah, that uh, I was I was gonna talk about that later. I didn't know you were looking at the the show the show stuff. Yeah. We're... Well, I just saw that's that's listed as number two, and I was yeah, like, we're oh, already on like, like, like number like one four. Of the first at things we're supposed five. to do. <laughs> it's okay. Well, at this point, yeah, yeah let's uh, we can. I just changed this to the shout out section in the middle of the show because I'm like it would just make sense to do this all in one. So I'm gonna promote my stuff real quick. Um, but um. This we're gonna give some shout outs to some people, but first we're gonna look at a comment that came in on my YouTube channel. Um, Pizza and Wings Podcast says, Man, I love me some IBS. This is one of my explicit evals root beer bonanza video. Um, I was reviewing root beer. If you guys want to check that out, it'll be in the description. <laughs> um, but yeah, Pizza and Wings Podcast, good little podcast. I don't know why they have fucking like seven people. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a bunch of like friends but they're they're a good little thing they do a little mix of everything talk about games they talk about sports sometimes that's a little boring but they talk about food a lot i love talking about food i really haven't even spoken about food much this episode but that's usually what it goes into um, oh, we could have gone over that yeah well we Next could time. still go we could still go into it i mean that video i'm talking about is literally me reviewing root beer but yeah i um I love I, IBS root beer. It's very good. Very good stuff. Um, it's, it's some good stuff. I've, I've never heard of IBS root beer, honestly. I don't like its name. I don't... I, I, I feel like I'm being... Am I being pranked right now? What's going on? I don't know. You'll figure it out later. Uh, besides that, we have a shout out to my patrons. The fourth wall break. This is stupid. I don't know how to properly say any of this now because this is this is a new segment i'm doing right now so i'm testing out the water seeing how i can say it but i actually have a page it's like patreon but it's called fourth wall um you can give me money every month this is the first time i've ever taken money for anything on the variety show or anything that i did take money from twitch one like i didn't steal it but i did offer like get the subscription things and stuff um but i have stopped doing that but I'm making a, a couple dollars now um, from this. So I have one patron. I didn't really even expect it at all. Um, but Chris, see, I, I don't know how to say it now. But Chrisons, yeah, Chrisons. Well, he is a. Yeah, uh, Chrisons, we love you. Yeah, you're awesome. We appreciate it. Um, if you want a shout out, you can donate one dollar a month, and I'll shout you out on the show. And then if you want a shout out still, but want to pay a little more and get a couple extra things, um, you can be a show runner, is what it's called, and you get a shout out on the show, a Discord role, and almost raw audio right after I record the show. So if we say anything like sensitive, or accidentally like say our full name or whoever says something that maybe they shouldn't have in regards to their personal life i'm gonna edit that out first but right if now you subscribe to the five dollar tier you can hear kevin say the n-word with no censorship yeah please don't Wait, make geez. any bra uh, yes <laughs> he already he uh, said he's gonna do it uh, it's actually seven bucks but it's three dollars and fifty cents for the first month now limited time actually fuck i forgot when i think it goes till the end of yep. august i have that on i may just extend it like forever but i don't know yet um, no, no, as of right now end of august this is a limited time offer so mm -hmm. get in while the deal's hot yeah Evan, how do in. you do it how do you do it <laughs> but uh oh the link also is oh god this is such a long mouthful this is terrible okay so st bear with me it's the variety show hyphen shop dot <laughs> god damn it the landing mariah stick the landing <laughs> dot fourth wall dot com again that's the variety show hyphen shop dot fourth wall dot com and that's fourth spelled f o u r t h <laughs> so yeah those are that's the little shout out section um thanks everyone for commenting becoming a patron um and sticking with it i'm so far we've be been sure good. to leave a comment on this episode and you might get featured next episode Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Comment on this episode or comment on any of my YouTube videos. This I'm just choosing random ones that are funny or silly or awesome. And um, yeah, and I appreciate everyone that also comments, too. I have a lot of frequent uh, re reoccurring people that comment on my stuff and 
Krom is one of them. He's freaking awesome. He's also part of the Who's Right universe. I don't know if he's been in there much recently, but Krom 2's, I think he did some of the art for the merch. Some of the merch. Um, I recognize the name. Yeah, I don't know. Krom 2 is, he would show up a lot. He used to show up a lot in the, like, the super chats and such. I'll, but I wonder I'll... who Krom mains in Smash Bros. Hmm. Lucina. Who's Lucina? Krom's main in Smash Bros. But is that like Lucario? <laughs> I've never heard of Lucina, though. I think, I think she's like a, a Fire Emblem character. I don't know. Oh. Yeah. One of the 70. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that game. Going down the gamer rabbit hole. All right, now was our, that was our chance to call Tom a nerd. 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 You can never come back nerd. from this. <laughs> I can't come back from this. My reputation is tarnished. Oh, yeah. So there's also a Fafi who doesn't really do much anymore. I don't know if he's died or what, but he's he's a pretty cool guy, it seems like. He has some good takes. He provides good insight on Middle Eastern stuff. Oh, Fathy? Oh, yeah. Egypt, isn't oh sorry, Fathy. Fatty? From yeah. Fatty. Because he's, he's Fatty. Fatty yeah. was actually going to be, um, I reached out to him to be on the very first episode of Who Is Right Tonight, but I just didn't see his message in time before I submitted it. Aww. Well, he's, you he's didn't, and then you didn't get him on any of the other ones? <laughs> no, because I haven't had a, <laughs> You're like, I haven't you. had a place for it yet. No, 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 no. <laughs> it was all my fault. I felt so bad because I saw it like an hour after I submitted it, but it, there just hasn't been a time where I've needed Fatty yet, so... The first episode was just perfect. They were talking about something um, from his country um, in the episode I was going to recap, but he didn't get back to me in time, like I said. So I just, I said, fuck it, we ride. No. But <laughs> Fathy knows if I need him, if I need him, I'll send up the Fathy signal. Uh, um, I, this stuff we can go over or not. I don't, it's just like, again, other little who's right jokes there's so many like little inside jokes but like the big ones are like doug's name is not, i don't know how to even present that well his his name haha ha. i don't know he's absolutely dork name. yeah that one yeah that's that i think you all, you also explained that but i forgot i have a bad memory <laughs> i think it's just something anthony started doing i could be mistaken he just started anyone else know I thought you guys were the experts. Sorry. I don't. I don't. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember where Rhodes came from. I, I know his actual last name. I know that's not what his actual last name <laughs> is. It's funny. Someone chill out. Are we going to talk to him? Right? No, I, I'm not, I'm not going right, to say Kevin, what, what is it. All right, then? guys, become a patron and you'll hear Doug's laugh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's, it's, it's yeah. like when uh, Doug, Doug doxed, An doxed Anthony in one of the last episodes and said his last name was. Uh, Hill, like Ant Hill. <laughs> so stupid. Sorry. So stupid. I'm sorry. The, <laughs> I was like, wait a The minute. reason why, so here's some insider information. The reason why they're so secretive of their last names is because they don't want us to know that they're both the same. They're, they're the, the presidents. The president. They're the president. <laughs> Doug Biden. <laughs> Doug Biden. Anthony Trump and Doug Biden. <laughs> Anthony so, Harris. I never told Doug this, <laughs> so I'll say it publicly now. Uh, Doug, every once in a while, when you emailed me the Hamilton and Piccolo episodes, your last name was attached to it. <laughs> what the fuck? Awesome. <laughs> uh, Doug, that it again. <laughs> that Doug. <laughs> I should have probably told him, funny. but like, I, bet his last I, name I don't even remember. I don't even remember what it was. I never like paid attention to it. <sighs> uh, it was just like, oh, there it is. Yeah, I've and heard he's had a history that. of accidentally revealing that a few times, but... The yeah. only the episode times... that I've ever watched live was the one where he zoomed in on his last name when pulling up the wagon. <laughs> like that. <laughs> that, is that was so the only funny. time I ever watched a live episode, <laughs> and it was to see that. Anthony's a lot better about that. I don't think Anthony's ever accidentally... <laughs> <sighs> Anthony, Anthony. I don't even know. I just, I just always assume they have white people last names like Johnson or something. <laughs> Doe. D -E. Doug. Uh, I'm telling you, Doug's last name. It's got to be Holes. If Anthony's Doug last name, Doug Holes. Is, <laughs> and Aunt Hill and Doug Holes. <laughs> oh, that's good. 
<laughs> it's a stupid joke. <laughs> Kevin, is that a stupid joke? I'm going to make it. Keep, Tom, keep explaining it until until Kevin laughs. So it's funny because it's like a play on words, you see. It's, um, when you when you grab a shovel and you dig a hole, the past tense is dug. Like dug see, I can't even make fun of you because I've made dumb jokes too. Oh, you dug. can't even make fun of me because I do it myself. Oh, no. Dug out. Okay, never mind. I'm not funny. Oh, that's a good one. I didn't present it as well as you. I'm just trying to think of another last name. (laughs) But Anthony isn't even usually shortened to Ant, is it? So, like, uh, you can't do a lot of... Like, Tony. Tony. I think Anthony Kumia goes by Ant, but that's a whole different... (sighs) That's such a dumb, like, nickname. I don't know. I don't like it. Ant. I don't know. It just doesn't sound right to me. Anybody called me Ant, I'd tell him to step on me. (laughs) <laughs> that sounds like a fetish. <laughs> I don't yeah. like the fact that you said that, Tom. I don't, um... Just, can everyone start calling me Aunt, please? <laughs> Aunt Mariah. <laughs> oh, God, stop. I get that one already because I'm an aunt. <laughs> not me, not me. I was... <laughs> so, um, uh, so I got a, I did message Doug, though, uh, in regards to this episode, I said, I'm having Evan and Kevin and Tom Mevin on. And um, do you have anything to tell these fellows or what? Um, but his question kind of can fit in with one of my little games I usually do. So um, it's kind of like my tier time, but kind of not. So he wants to ask you guys, uh, who's your favorite reoccurring person on the show? And who's your least favorite? If you want to, I could go first. Does anyone have any... Do you guys need to think about it for a second? I could go first. If not. I'll just go first. I'll... This is kind of a mean game. Who's your least favorite person? Well, I have an answer already. Huh. So let me just go, and then you I'm guys gonna, can... Yeah, I'll come up with an answer. Yeah. So my favorite um, Nugget, for sure. Sorry, not any of you guys. Nugget is definitely my favorite. Variety brings, brings something new and fresh, and she's awesome. Um, she has a different voice. She's not just a stinky guy. So I love Nugget. My least favorite is Cardiff because his intros are long Ooh. and boring. <laughs> but uh, if I wouldn't have chosen Nugget, I think like I don't know what it is about Fafi. I <laughs> I think he would have been probably my my one of my one of my tops. One of my tops. I like him a lot. So good. <laughs> but yeah, so Nugget favorite, Cardiff least favorite. I'm going to piggyback off of that by saying Cardiff is my favorite. Oh, fuck you. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then um, this is not a shot at you, Drake, but my least favorite is Drake. Just because you could do so much better with your conspiracies, That's... bro. You could do so much better. Come on. You got you to gotta speak with confidence. I know it's difficult being in the Thunderdome with Doug and Anthony. But listen. You got if you're gonna talk about the Denver airport, which is again a stupid conspiracy, <laughs> stay it with your chest and actually it's not hard oh to actually God. believe in a conspiracy, dude. I believe I truly believe Kurt Cobain is still alive to this day. And he's he is Weezer frontman Rivers Cuomo. I believe that in my heart <laughs> so, of hearts. So so <laughs> I'm I know you're going off on this long, meaningful I, I'll, thing I'll and stop. it's, it's I'll coming stop. from but Drake is an individual, I guess he's a fan, and then he's like, hey, I have this conspiracy idea, and they started doing bonus episodes where they talk about conspiracy theories. But I haven't seen those recently, I could be wrong. Um, so did he rage quit because Doug and Anthony were too hard on him? What happened with that? Because he kind of explained it, kind of didn't. So what seems to be going on with Drake? Because Drake uh, Drake was kind of mean to me when I was on one of those. But um, anyway, so... Maybe he's also a contender for my least favorite too. But um, but what has happened with Drake? I don't know. I think the running theory is he recently killed himself because he has the Who's Right um, logo tattooed on his ass, and oh, uh, Doug and Anthony were mean got, to him. That's why he got the show in the first place, right? <laughs> exactly. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Be, I that's so awesome. I get this tattoo on my favorite show, and then he gets on the show and they just blast him the whole time. like, I hate this show now, and now it's on my ass burning. Oh I'm misremembering who did the tattoo, but I think it was one of the guys from Fartmouth who did the tattooing. Oh, which is another awesome. podcast, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, but no one's heard from him? 
I, I, I haven't I, heard even, I don't even know. I don't know who you're talking about. I forgot this person existed. Fake fan. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I think I just know of him because I was on one of those episodes and then they did one with Nugget at some point and then it fell off from what I've seen. But thank they you did for bringing him up. Yeah. Yeah. The last I know about the conspiracy show is I think it's officially dead. They did two conspiracy episodes. Conspiracies with Drake, not with Drake. Mm-hmm. And they were just they and Doug, yeah, go ahead. That's just one of the one of the types of episodes. It's that's when I'm like, I'm glad I'm not in his spot <laughs> because it's funny as fuck <laughs> when Doug and Anthony are like just going off. That doesn't make sense. This conspiracy, and then he's like, "It's a conspiracy. Not everything has to be." But you're like, "Hey, they're both making good points, but it's just funny to see the guy in the hot seat, man." And it's way funnier when it's not you. <laughs> I just don't get it how nobody listens to the one rule, which is believe in your conspiracy. I can believe in anything. Uh, yeah, mine was kind of. Di- I did. I don't even know what I did. Like water vehicles that ran off of water, and everyone kept dying. That supposedly found it, or it wasn't water. It was like hydrogen that. or something. Yeah. Um. Then whenever they just kept like I didn't know what else to say, so at some point I was just like just started coming up with shit out of my ass because I'm like, well, if I said something like if there are mul-, which I mean I kind of believe anyway, but if, like if there are multiple infinite universes, then why can't it be a possibility? Because everything's a possibility, so technically. <laughs> but um, but yeah. That's that was also a difficult one because me having to do research suck at that so I don't even know how I have a podcast in the first place and um having to present it and not presenting but arguing with again those questions that just come out of literally nowhere you pres- you prepare yourself uh for them to ask like okay so how does that affect the president or how how's that you know like what if my child was mutated and the, you expect all these weird things, but then they come up with just something completely fucking like, what are you talking about? <laughs> how, how? So it's difficult. Very difficult, but thanks for bringing up Drake. That was a good one. I feel like there's maybe like one, two other people we may be missing. That's kind of related enough to notate, but I mean, obviously we haven't thought of them. <laughs> Yeah, so maybe it doesn't matter. <laughs> I've got a few in my. Right. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, go Kevin, ahead. Kevin, do you want to go first? Oh wait, oh I forgot. Wait, no, we're still doing favorite and least favorite. Sorry, yeah. I forgot about that. Right. Um, yeah. Y'all do the favorite and least favorite, and then we could go ahead and start talking about different people associated with this. <laughs> Evan Sorry. spoke up first. He can answer first. <laughs> so, I've kind of got two favorites. Okay. There's my favorite, who I have the most respect for, and that's the uh, Dildo Master Jake from yeah. their D&D series that they did. Wait, they oh, did yeah. a D&D series? Yeah. yeah. Dildos, oh, and Dildos and Dildos and Dildos. What? I need on, to... the, uh, on their Patreon. I need to listen to that. Oh my god. That I, I had an idea of doing a D&D thing. Yeah. I wonder if that's one of the ideas I gave them or not. I don't know. Probably not. Because he didn't say anything about it. But This was um, like a year... Like... Oh, no, never mind. I thought about this, like, recently, or, well, like, within the past six months or something. All right. Yeah, this was a while ago, and Jake, his ability to just take what Doug and Anthony give him to work with and, like, what they do in the moment, mm-hmm. that I know for a fact Jake did not plan for, but he just rolls with it and makes it continue on smoothly as if that was exactly how he planned it. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like, I have a lot of respect for her. Jake, as someone who's run a few D and D one shots mm. that just go completely off the walls, uh, I I really enjoyed that series. My That's favorite awesome. to like when he appears on the show, I know it's going to be a good episode. Is Doctor Dukenschmerz? <laughs> and like, I'm so, also the one who this is a guy who sort of named him. Yeah, this uh, by calling him Doctor Dukenschmerz. And they misheard it and said Duke yeah, which, which is fine. Now he's his own character. They don't even understand the reference at all. <laughs> they, they're just saying it. They're just like, oh, a Jewish guy or whatever. And I don't remember what they said, but it's like, it's I mean, Duke yeah, probably. But Swedish mad science. Or yeah, whatever they said. I said yeah. Jewish. Sorry. Close enough. Yeah, the people who don't know he's like a 
uh, mad scientists from uh, where are they like Poland or Germany or Sweden? Sweden. 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 Yeah, just a completely insane person. Like believes in eugenics. It's like selectively breeding people out of the gene pool, and like is he's just wild. He's a wild person. He is incredibly every, entertaining. Every time he appears on an episode, I'm just like, all right, this is gonna be a good one. <laughs> uh, and my least favorite is Ulysses. Oh, yeah. you you stole my answer. Oh, sorry. I don't Honestly, even know this I guy. Really know I can't hate that. on him. <laughs> I don't even know that much about him, but whenever he's on, I just feel like I can smell him through. Oh wait, is that the, the transgender the guy or the guy that was no. having sex? No, no wait, no, he's no, he was a TZ, I believe. Oh, which I like him too. I love TZ. So this guy just looks really smelly. Then he, um, I don't even know what he looks like, but I've heard his voice on a few episodes, and I'm just like, he sounds. And speaks like the what I imagine the average who's right listener to be. <laughs> and Jesus so I don't like. Yeah, I don't, need, so you're I don't missing even like know a few he's... key features. You're missing a few key aspects about him. Yes. Uh, I, I I don't know if I want to let you keep talking more, or if this is a good segue into my answers to I the think question. That's a good place for you to take over because I don't even know that much about him. I just know he look he sounds I hate him. like I can smell him through the computer, <laughs> and so I don't like it. Just space. Right. Oh my god! I'm sorry, Ulysses. <laughs> so I just want... Evan's awesome. I... See, he just says what he thinks. That's why Doug doesn't fuck with him. He just like fucking just. He's so confident. Uh, even if you you so... may not be confident, you appear to be pretty confident. So I like that. <laughs> sorry. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> so I just want to be clear. I'm not saying this out of any place of contempt. I say this out of love actually, because I do actually like him. I think Not me when I was talking co- about Cardiff or Doug. I think <laughs> I think <laughs> I think Ulysses is legitimately a pretty cool guy. He and I have had a number of conversations that are honestly pretty fun. He's got some really unique hobbies I think are pretty cool. I He's a good guy. Um, the only issue is that every once in a while he, and again, if you're listening to this Ulysses, I love you man. I'm, I, you, you know, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> but every once in a while, he goes into this mode where, like, so you know how Anthony kind of like picks fights that he doesn't really believe and kind of like argues based on not the best arguments. Ulysses, no, like, not him. every once in a while, he'll go into a <laughs> mode where he tries to do that, but doesn't do it as eloquently. So mm-hmm. it just comes off as kind of annoying. And there are like a lot of after show chats of him doing something, like, like kind of doing... Like, there, there's a lot of evidence in the after-show chat of him doing this. And it's and it's it's always entertaining to listen to, but, like, I can't help but, like, put myself in the shoes of, like, come on. So it's, it's like when, when Tom argument. and I bring up a subject that, like, we don't really... We know a little bit about, but not... Ever, <laughs> it's like, why even bring also, it up? You can't, we can't expand on it. Sorry, Tom. But you, <laughs> no, I, I think, I, think I already said it before. Like, we're, like, we're kind of the same. <laughs> I, I, w- I think we do share the same mind. Yeah, same exact guy. Oh, God. <laughs> I, don't know, I feel I feel I've, bad. I've been in one single uh, after show chat, and it was the one where Ulysses called Anthony a boiled onion. Damn. <laughs> what? He's hey, that's some good funny. In him. He's one There's no coming back from that. Uh, <laughs> I think that was pretty funny. So wait, who was no. your favorite, um, Kevin? I feel just as bad picking a favorite as I do picking a least favorite. Oh, don't be a puss. But... <sighs> Shut up. Well, if it makes you feel but... better, my original idea for this was name your top three favorites, and I was going to rank you guys, but I'm like, I don't think I want to do that. That's so All right, picking any one of us is a cop-out. Who's your favorite, favorite of us three? Uh, no, you answer you or you. I agree. Um, <laughs> so I was thinking... So when when. When you first asked the question, before you even gave your answer, I was thinking maybe Nugget, because despite her oddities, I do really appreciate her kind of vibrant persona, I guess. I think she sent me, she once sent me this Google Doc of that she wrote, like, psychoanalyzing Doug, and I thought it was really cool that she put that much thought Wait, into... That's Wait, you scary. got that document too? <laughs> yeah, that was and, scary. And just, and just, just, just in general, whenever we've like interacted, whether through texts or in a voice call, 
she always like has very interesting outlooks on things and, and, and like she seems to put a lot of she seems to put a lot of care and introspection and reflection into her thoughts about the world and other people and i think that makes her a very interesting person to talk to yeah she is, and, she and is very and interesting it, and it just so happens and it just so happens that those conversations are occasionally broken up by her professing her love for princess diana yeah or Jillian Anderson. Yeah, or, or Jillian how much Anderson. She thinks Kai is like so hot and stuff. Yeah, that was. That I don't was... know if I've heard those parts. Yeah. Does she know that he's uh, taken man now. Yeah, that was a lot of the stuff I had to cut out in the episode with her. She's just going off, and I was like, okay, <laughs> I don't want to hear this about my friend. This is kind of weird. <laughs> but um, yeah, Nugget's a good one though. She's she's awesome. She's a she's a good person. Uh, I'm glad more people agree because I feel bad when I see the comments. And I know she's like tough though, which is because she doesn't come off as tough, I guess. So I feel bad when I see the comments. They're like, oh, fucking Nugget again. She's so annoying. And I'm like, I'm like, no, stop. Don't do that. But I, she, she lives through it. I know she's fine, but, um, she's cool. She's cool. Um, but now that I'm thinking about cool. it, I could rank you three. Um, <laughs> if you guys so why am I number I, one? I want you to be brutally honest. Brutally honest. Before you answer, remember that I gave you money. <laughs> I was taking that into Man, consideration. You are a <laughs> <laughs> well, Kevin gave me 20 bucks. Although... $20 does do a lot in Joe Biden's America. Mm. I don't know, we've already mentioned that Tom and I are probably the most similar, so I'd have to give him the number one spot. <laughs> so and Can't I like I like his intros a lot better than Cardiff's. That's really it. Um as for Thank you. making their way to second, time. that's kind of a hard thing because um Evan's writings are very good and I like what he's done and how he works with Doug and Anthony because he's not just a pushover <laughs> but Kevin did give me 20 bucks so. <laughs> and there's a lot more where that came from <laughs> um, I swear to god Kevin I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the real you through this podcast <laughs> we thought Kevin was going to come out on the bottom I mean at least I did initially but now every time I think what? About it, <laughs> damn what the hell? Every time I, I think about that 20 bucks. A wicked assassination. Can I request to be third and make this easier for you. I was going to put you at third after I remembered the 20 bucks. So let's just keep it as. <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll keep right, having, I don't maybe be I'll second. Keep having second contests like with giveaways. <laughs> Will I win all of them? <laughs> I mean, if you keep entering them, you're bound to win more. Okay, well, you, you can make your way to the top spot at some point. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! I'll take third. I don't want to be in the middle because that's like the most mediocre. Damn right. Like, people remember the worst and people remember the best. Nobody hey, remembers who's in These the are my top three, though. I already said the worst was Cardiff, so you don't have to. Well, uh, so wait. So you won't be remembered. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> um, you always remember your enemies. Yeah. Oh, Cardiff. Cardiff. I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's just those intros. I don't know what it is. I just. I just have to skip. I had to skip them every time. I did the thing where I go and then I start hearing the voice of Doug and Anthony. I'm like, okay, go back 15 seconds. I'll catch the tail end. <laughs> I don't so you know. Put a little more respect on Kevin's name. It's I actually don't know if my writing would be exactly the same without Kevin. Because when writing the book, I just imagine all of it in Kevin's voice. Aww. That's amazing. As you should. Have him do the uh, audiobook. He he did uh, a little sample for you today. You know how it's gonna be like. Yeah, and that I was mean, off that's the not cuff. My decision. That's uh, if Doug and Anthony want an audiobook, that's for oh, them God. to. Yeah, they, they need I'm to, cool for them to do whatever they want with the book. They need to get to moving on that. Uh huh. <laughs> well, I mean, I still have to put together the uh, final version, get all the illustrations, everything, and so it's not on them. Oh, yet. oh yeah, I guess you're right. I guess you're soon right. soon okay. it will my be. Bad. My bad. Well. Um, I had a couple more other things. I mean, I can talk about them later. Um, I was going to talk about how I'm not going to drink as much for the next couple months and stuff, but uh, I'm going to bore you guys with all the details of that. Um, I have a hater I was kind of curious. 
Oh yeah. Oh no, I was just I'm just gonna start studying again, but that doesn't mean no variety show. We're gonna have episodes the first and the fifteenth of the month, so when the people in the military get paid. Um but I'm gonna drink on July fourth and we also go I go to Universal Studios for the first time in like July and August. So I'm gonna have some, some yeah, content uh, Florida? on that. Yeah, in Florida. Yeah. Ride the mummy ride. Ride the mummy? Okay. Yeah, the mummy is awesome. Yeah, I think we're getting, we're just going all out. We're like, we're not going to be there for long, so we're just going to get like that super fast pass or whatever the hell they call it. And we'll like do the unlimited one, like not the one time, and so we can hit as many rides as possible. Um, That's going to be so awesome. Yeah, I hope so. I've never, I've been to like amusement parks, but I haven't really been to a theme park with like name brand like they'll have shrek themed stuff i guess at that time too so i'm excited i'm excited so so here's a quick pro tip for anyone around universal uh universal has a parent swap where like you know if you have little kids they go off to the side and then the parents one parent rides the ride and they come out they switch and then the other parent rides Mm -hmm. nobody checks those so just get off the ride go through the parent swap and get right back on you genius good. little bastard! I love that. <laughs> Wait, they have that for all the rides? Probably where the kids won't be. Oh. Most of the rides, like hmm. most of the rides, have it. Hmm. I don't know about. I don't all know. Of I don't them, want to get but... kicked out though. I'm scared. Well, I would be the one person they check. <laughs> Are you a parent? Nobody's You're checking. They just walk right through and <laughs> get right back on the ride. I would just probably do the thing like, oh my gosh, I didn't know this was the wrong line. Oh my gosh, sorry. <laughs> I'm good at acting like dumb when I need to. My <laughs> little kids around here somewhere. <laughs> Me and my sister used to ride rides like, you know, five times in a row just by walking through the parents' Aww, wall. That's awesome. See, we need these kinds of tips and tricks. I'll try to use that yeah. and tell you how it works. Variety show exclusive. Yeah, but I'll, I'll be like so scared to do that, honestly. So I may not do it. <laughs> I'm like, oh wait, I, I'll try it. No, never mind. I'll see like there's like one guard standing there, but with his back behind it. Not like a guard, but you know, like a worker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Here's, I haven't been there in years. I don't know if like it's changed, but last time I was there, there's nobody there checking it. You just walk through and get right back on. See, well now. Oh, so if you get arrested and thrown in jail for six months that's not on me oh imagine God. being thrown in universal jail you're probably in there with like <laughs> tom cruise and brennan fraser and well, vin diesel now it's like everyone's like actually traveling this year i feel like even people in california they're not even wearing masks anymore and they prolonged the mask thing for a long time from covid so like i think this is the year people are starting to travel like overseas and actually do normal life things again um so i have a feeling it's gonna probably be pretty packed i mean we're going during summer and all that fun stuff so um we'll see we'll see how it is i'll tell i'll you guys will hear how it goes you guys will hear how it goes but um i'm excited i've never gone i've gone to like a six flags before i've gone to was that called seven flags seven flags yeah 69 no not cedar point i think i've heard about that is that the one that got shut down no wait that's the one with all the no wait never mind i think it's that's the pride of saying i don't know what any of these places are (laughs) um where's the one in uh not tampa well yeah tampa bush gardens yeah i've been there they have some cool ones there um but yeah nothing with like themes so like I, i i heard there's something with spongebob there because uh, Universal is owned by Viacom or whatever, and then I like Shrek stuff, so there will be some Shrek stuff I think they just came out with recently. Spongeboy so, Ahoy. Spongeboy Ahoy. Oh, yeah. Original Spongebob. Spongeboy me, Bob. Who said that, by the way? That was, was, that? That was me. Oh, wait. The Spongeboy Ahoy thing. <laughs> oh. No, me. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, SpongeBob's real name was SpongeBoy, but uh, it was originally uh, owned by someone else. So they had to it was owned by a mop or something. I feel like I spoke to someone about this. Yeah, I think I spoke to someone about this in an episode. Uh, you spoke to your brother about it on an episode oh, of Mario's Oh, look, he's so awesome! It. He remember. Okay, I think you're number two now. Sorry. 
Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> Get real, Kevin. <laughs> He's unmuting himself. <laughs> he so He's in the middle of a yawn. <laughs> oh, yeah. No right. more Kevin money for you. That he never even listened to his show. I'm pulling references from, yeah. from the show. You know what? I think uh, <laughs> Evan's number two now. I actually listen. If I get... If I get invited on this show again, I'm going to wa- I'm going to study every episode that has been posted so far so that I know every reference, all the connections. Okay, do it. Yeah, you you only have 19 episodes plus well, I I already have a schedule for the next couple episodes. Although I feel like this one may be split into two because we've been talking for almost three. We've been going for a while. Oh my god. Assuming gosh. I ever get invited to come back on this. <laughs> No, I don't know okay. how long the edited version is going to be, but for the listeners, uh, my current recording is at two hours and 46 minutes. Yep. Yeah, we're, we're pushing three hours. Um, That's all right. I actually feel like we've spoken about a lot of quality things. Um, I feel like we have done very well in explaining everything and also not talking over each other and being crazy. But I think you guys just have experience with that just because you've worked you know, in these things before. So uh, I really don't think I'll have to cut out a lot. We didn't reveal any sensitive information except Doug's last name, you know, but <laughs> yeah. I said, I won't. Oh, we we cut that out. Oh. Good luck finding me there. <laughs> and what did we decide? Anthony's last name is Kumi. Uh, I thought we said Doug, Doug Biden and Anthony Harris or something, but yes, like I mean, Doug Kleepold and Anthony Harris. <laughs> Butter Bean Dong 2024, <laughs> Save America. Wait, oh yeah, I have that too. I have a pin. I guess I became a patron or I bought candy or something and uh, Doug sent me a, a pin of that. What is that? That that Butter Bean Dong. That's a deep cut. That's, they're running for president. But, or ran for president. Uh, well, was, when was it? 2021? That was yeah, when nobody yeah, else that, was that, voting that was, so they could get, get all the votes. <laughs> that was wow. 2020, I think. It was even yeah. older than that. Like they were... I thought it was 2021 because they didn't do it on an election year. Yeah, I because saw because the they pin, wanted nobody yeah. else running uh... so that they can get all the votes. <laughs> That's it. Did anyone write it in? Can they? Can you tell? Do you know? I don't. Uh, people have written in Butterbean <laughs> Dong. I remember it was a joke. It, it was like an offhanded joke in one episode that was kind of funny, <laughs> and then they decided to base the next episode entirely around the entire episode was based on this premise of anthony running for president and in my opinion the slap <laughs> chop president that yeah the slap that's chops. where that's where uh, the chief chief of police chief's joke came from and that's, that's hamilton's episode. title oh, in hamilton and Pickle. Yeah, yeah. so See, without it that, so, that, so it was 2020 seen. Yeah, okay, yeah, it did have to be, because that's when I wrote Hamilton Piccolo. I think that's when Uncle Randy was running for governor. I don't know who that Uncle is. Randy, I completely forgot about that. Uh, I think that's... I, that's I, an old uh, deeper old and character. deeper. <laughs> I can't yeah, remember. Mariah's not a true fan. She didn't listen to old episodes. So oh my god, they have like references. fucking 200 episodes. You think Speaking of which, I want to bring up a topic. More than uh, bacon. bacon. My topic that I want to talk about is bacon, because... Mm, bacon. Mmm... Steakums? That's another uh, reference that Mariah is not going to get. I thought that was Steakums. a Steakums Fake fan. No. <laughs> nope. See, they they just talk. They they've spoken about everything though, so it's hard to get all the references. I know. You know I'm surprised show. with how long the Who's Right podcast has been running that they they still find a way to keep it fresh. I mean, they they keep it fresh. They've lost jobs because of it, and they still decide to keep fucking going. <laughs> I don't know what's Honestly, wrong with Doug them. lost his job, <laughs> and that still like didn't twice. come as close to ending the show as the candy business. <laughs> or the coffee business. Or any yeah. other businesses. <laughs> uh, maybe mm. they'll figure it out one day. I think yeah. I did, like, force I Doug. I think I was going to say it earlier, but I forgot. I, I think I forced Doug to say if, because at one point they were talking about a podcast network, and I said, if you guys ever do a podcast network, you are putting me on there, like the variety show. <laughs> they so were so you were you not there for that arc because that was another arc where they started their network. Oh, they did start and one. Then it, yeah, they had a network for a little while and then stopped. They had a Val knows everything about everything. All of like two episodes, and then the third episode they just weren't trying anymore. 
And so then they canes the whole network. But the, isn't the point of the network that they don't have to do anything? They get other people to do things, but it's all under the same network. Like, it's the Who's Right Network, but variety show brought to you by the Who's Right Network. Well, Talking they were Tom paying. Brought to you by they were the paying Who's Val. Right for, they were paying Val for those uh, episodes. They're like, not just Val, but like anyone associated. Oh. They were paying for well, those they... episodes to put on there. Because I think it was actually just their Patreon, but they were calling it their network. Oh, so maybe, they were I was, maybe I was um, telling him it would be free or something. I don't know. It was fairly recent. I think when I, like, a month or two before I decided, decided okay, I need to start Mariety Show Up again. So I told him, I'm like, or maybe it was more like if I ever start doing it full time for any reason, which that's like not even something to think about right now. So that's why I'm studying so much and trying to get a very good paying job. <laughs> because I'm like, yeah, I tell them I'll be able to make a livable wage off of this. But um I'm I'm I think I maybe I said free and then I said I'll do I don't know. I don't know what I said. But um yeah as long as I could still make make my own my own yeah. money off of it. I don't wanna have to conform to to uh their what they want though i'm gonna make my own type of podcast but we'll see we'll see how it goes we'll see i think that'd be a good idea maybe just approach it a different way or i don't know we'll just help you start the variety network i mean yeah. we're all here we it could just be like a like a consulting like it could be like a variety of things we'll have things for like evan can be the head variety. of the book publishing department and then uh, Tom and Kevin will be the 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 people like right under me to help with the the um the actual podcast stuff. But then like uh, Evan will also do like merch and other creative things on the side that could be associated with it and tie everything in. And then you could have a a grand ongoing novel where you keep adding characters from the new podcast that come in and keep writing new stories. <laughs> I think it would be a good idea. So, listen, and I'll just fund it all once the, I get enough money. Sorry, what? We've already got we already got the foundation. We're yeah, we got the bones. Perfect, perfect. We I feel like we would all be good working with each other, but I'm. I'm only good working with myself right now because I have so much going on. <laughs> we can work together then, Mariah. Yes. If we are the same person. Oh yeah, together. wait, you're right. I am the same as you. I forgot. I hope you're also six foot six. When I'm you not. and Tom are walking down the beach, you're gonna look back and see one <laughs> pair of footprints behind you. <laughs> Who the hell is following us? <laughs> <other pair? laughs> Where's the other pair of footprints? And Tom's gonna say, Mariah, it's because I was carrying you. We are one. <laughs> Mar Mariah's gonna be on my back like Yoda on Luke. Yeah, I know Star Wars. <laughs> oh, I mean Star Wars. Are... A swing and a miss. <laughs> I have. I does he ride him like a parrot? I don't know. Yeah, he's on his back for like a little training montage. Oh, that's cool. Okay, maybe I can it's watch cute. that. I think I've watched it some Star Wars once before a long time ago i don't really remember <laughs> don't even get me started on new star wars it makes me so sad i don't even want to go back and watch the originals man oh no i'm sorry it's just, there's no more mystery in star wars and it makes tom sad they always they're they're milking the ideas these days they, the they need any little mystery they where they can fit a crowbar in to pry it out and make a new uh tv show about it it's not and like i it's not that i have a thing against new star wars but it's just like there's no more mystery and it. it's just like the Force isn't that mysterious. Now we're getting it all fleshed out. I, I, I regret wishing for more Star Wars as a kid. That's what they do. <laughs> They're just going to milk it until no one cares about it anymore. And then no one will care about it for years. And then people will start caring about it again. And then they'll do 10 other spinoffs. So if that makes you feel any better or worse. <laughs> you know, it's well, they, you can't. The thing you got to try and tell Disney is that nobody's going to start pining for it again if they never get a break from it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, like there's oh, that break that made people. They've done made the... those fat nerds want more. <laughs> hey, Tom's not fat. <laughs> He's a nerd, though. Well, not... Anyway, yeah. he is a nerd. <laughs> I might be. Um, that's uh. Did... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was just saying. I was gonna say this conversation's lost on me because I've never been a fan of any era of Star Wars. 
Oh. The only the only Star Wars thing I was ever kind of excited for was episode 9 because I heard nothing but people talk about how bad it was. So my friend and I went to the movie theater like excitedly preparing to like laugh at it and and, and, we, and we walked into the theater thinking that wasn't nearly as bad as people made it out to be. It wasn't good, but it just wasn't it wasn't Star Wars, you know? It's just like well there's another three hundred million dollars in your pocket, Disney. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a Star Wars fan yeah, either. We can, we can just go ahead know. and stop this. As and I are general, in the same boat. general cultural osmosis. That's I don't all know I know anything. But what I, I was going to say. Yeah. Oh, I was just going to say that they have done the Beavis and Butthead reboot. That's been good. If you guys I can't wait for that. the King of the Hill reboot. Has it? I'm afraid. It doesn't seem like a show that would age well. Um, it well, they cool. still do that kind of reaction reboot. stuff, but it's kind of to, like, the newer, um, music videos and stuff, but they've, they've, I don't know, it's, they've, they've still managed to keep it pretty true to its source, even though they sometimes do the old people segments, like, a little bit where they're old, and you think, oh, no, they're gonna be old, and it's fucked, but I don't know, it's just, Mike Judge just does it well, I guess, I don't know. Mike Judge is... I hope I hope he doesn't lose his touch. Everything he's been doing yep. recently has been pretty good. Well, that's why I'm like I don't see like Beavis and Butthead is kind of timeless. They can stay a, yes. like they can be, they're just kind of silly and dumb, so you can kind of do anything at any age with them. But like King of the Hill, it's uh, they don't well, they get be... into like silly scenarios, but not like wacky crazy. I'm gonna do all this and be good. like right. it's like it's too realistic, I guess. <laughs> so just silly scenarios but they play it pretty straight yeah so i mean maybe it'll just be like they're teaching the kids why these days about sex education they already had enough so makes like me that, so but... nervous <laughs> they, they did but it makes me nervous because the voice actor for dale has passed away the voice oh. actor for Lou Wayne has passed away so it's like what are we gonna do hmm I mean, they'll they'll probably find good voice actor replacements. I I just get afraid of because of the writing and people are people want to be more censored these days. But again, if if the Beavis and Butthead reboot did pretty well, then I'm sure Mike Judge will do good with the King of the Hill one. But if it's one of those taking place in the future things, like I don't even know how you'll do Bobby. Right. So like like, and then it's like we're expecting Bobby to be like this, this, and this, and then. Like you expect him to change as he gets older, whereas Beavis and Butthead, it's like I can I can see them staying the same throughout their whole life, so it's okay that they don't change because they're just like dumb, <laughs> right? <They're> dumb and silly. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. It's we'll we'll just have to see, I guess. But man, some of the some of the artwork or what was it? it well, some of the I don't even know if it was real or fake artwork I saw, but it just looked like it was like an old Bobby. It, oh it yeah, I was like, like, I don't like it. <laughs> well, the thing is, like, to go into King of the Hill canon is Hank looked like Bobby when Hank was a boy, so you'd expect Bobby would grow up to look like Hank, but it's just mm -hmm. like this is just a fat man. Yeah, it's I don't know. We'll see, but I always think it's so cool, like the stuff what they do, like where um. Hank was originally based off of the the neighbor and Beavis and Butthead, the old guy, and it's like he has the same voice and stuff, and but yeah, it's it's a different guy, but it's like I like to see how they all interconnect because it's the same guy's mind. That's how I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm out of ideas to talk. About. That's all right. <laughs> We're only at three hours. Yeah, I mean we've kind of milked a lot already. Yeah, three o two. Oh yeah, we went a lot further than I was much, expecting to. So. How much we hate Doug? I mean, I I haven't really spoken about how much I hated Anthony, so we can start talking about that. If we want. <laughs> <laughs> how? What is the what? What are we capping the time at? I just that was not. It's just as much as we feel like is needed, but I really don't have anything else. So if you no, guys... I think I'm kind of going brain dead. Because <laughs> I wouldn't mind more, wrapping up soon. Always, if there's enough uh, comments under this video that like it. Maybe we could do another uh, episode, like another this. special. Yeah. We could do another yeah. special. Maybe talk about just like topics we bring. That means you have to like <laughs> and engage with this video. Yeah, and maybe your comment will be featured on the next variety show. 
Make it funny. But yeah, um... Comment about how I should be at the top of the ranking. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys tell me who you guys like the best, I who down, should not down come down back three. on, who's, who, who is the worst of the who's right lore, who's the best of the who's right lore. <laughs> All that fun stuff. Um, but we'll go based off of the, the order I see you guys in. So we'll go Evan, Kevin, and then Tom. And you guys are going to shout all your stuff out. Just give us everything that you can possibly think of. Um, and don't be like, oh, I don't want to shout it out. Blah. Unless it like has your name and you don't want to say it. But um, you guys have to shout something out because I was, I've was i been talking to you guys for fucking three hours. So you've got to tell yes. us who you are. All right, well, I'm Evan. You can find me on YouTube at Meta Metaverses or Meta.Verses. That's M-E-T-A dot V-E-R-S-U-S. Same thing on Instagram, but change the dot out for an underscore. Uh, I have a Twitter somewhere. I don't use it, though. Uh, look forward to the Hamilton and Piccolo book, and go on to steam.com and download the Dream Team for free. Oh, yeah. Dream Team. Dream Team! I've got about uh, 400 some odd YouTube videos on my channel, oh including my short films and uh, the possibly rigged game show. Which will be in the uh, description down below. Yes, yeah, so go check those out. <laughs> All right. Kev. Um, Kev. Kevin. So I. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying, go, just go. I, I have been Kevin. Um, my main thing that I want you all to go check out is I've got two YouTube channels, but the main one that I think is going to have the largest interest is just called KTB, and yeah, there's a lot of. <laughs> Uh, readings of creepy stories, deep dives into mysteries of the world and, and of the internet, and it just just kind of some kind of creepy, kind of eerie topics. Though I'm slowly over time trying to branch out into a bit more general stuff. I'm still kind of finding my identity with the channel, but I'm pretty happy with a lot of the stuff that's on there right now. Um, yeah, I'm not going to spell out like my usernames and anything because I'll just yell at I'll, I'll kindly ask mariah to just put the links in the description and i imagine that will suffice but yeah my channels I'll, I'll probably have my twitter in there as well if i'm feeling silly maybe i'll ask mariah to link my spotify profile or do you not know you the know, names you... of any of these <laughs> yeah just put my I twitter know that... and stuff down there <laughs> i know the names but what's the point ktb updates is the twitter yeah, name. Just, just, yeah. and just, i'll just and may it. If I'm feeling silly, I'll ask Mariah to link my Spotify. We can tell me how amazing my music taste is and my playlists. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> That's all I got. Alright, Talking Tom. Did you like the name of that podcast I came up with for you? <laughs> that was pretty good. It yeah. has nothing on uh, Tall Tom's Thought Train, which was my old <laughs> abomination of the show. <laughs> um, so, if you want to go back in time and check out uh, Tall Tom's Thought Train, which is a show I would turn on when I was uh, very tired in college... Uh, go back in time and find that. It's uh, deleted from the internet, so good luck. Um, mm, you can media. find me on... <laughs> yes! Mm. You can find me on Twitter at um, at Tommy's Tree if you want to see me post absolutely garbage takes about Chicago sports. And um, Actually, they're not garbage takes. They're all true. And uh, sometimes I post silly things on there. Other than that, um, I just started a SoundCloud where I'm going to try to start reading audiobooks just to mess around. So if you want to listen to me read Goldilocks and the Three Bears, I'm Tommy Tree at SoundCloud. And then I occasionally show up on the podcast called Two Useless Organisms with Tristan and Tommy. I am not Tommy. I am Tom. I occasionally show oh. up on there. So if you want to check those guys out, too. Two what it. organisms? Two useless organisms. Okay, another podcast. Yes. Ah, there's a lot of podcasts I haven't heard. Well, I think I heard of Fart Mouth, which is, sounds like a dumb name, but um, haven't listened to them. And then this one, too. And I have to go listen to the D&D Doug and Anthony podcast. And there's just so many podcasts. Wow. Okay. Hi, that, guys. <laughs> that's, a lot of, that's a lot of stuff. So many yeah. podcasts. Yeah, so many podcasts. So many people in the world who talk yeah. and want people to hear. What is it that Carl says? Like 700,000 podcasts and growing? 
Did he re- does he really say that? That's a lot. Uh, that was back in 2020, so it's probably like a 1.2 million now. Yeah. That's, that's too many. Yeah, that's why I didn't <laughs> want to do a podcast anymore, because it's like, what can I add to the space? <laughs> I'm like... You don't need to add most... anything. Just talk. <laughs> My cousins are going to listen to this and be that. like, who the fuck? What is this? See, like, I have my cousins, and then, like, right now I have people from the official podcast and people from the Who's Right watching watching my show. And I I don't even know how, but this Pizza and Wing, Wings podcast I mentioned earlier, their stuff just came up on my YouTube randomly, so I started listening to them, but I don't even know if they're related. So I think that's, like, the only possible non-related to official podcasts or my family or who's right people that watch me <laughs> so I, so i'm like oh i still stick with the little these little people in the community because it, it helps but it's you've got like, a nice little group of people that listen to you i do and i've like been, been so lucky because when i've had all of these like like when i used to do twitch and used to do youtube old war and now doing this there's always been like just the dedicated few people you always see. And I know there's some other people who every once in a while, they're like, yeah, I've seen them. Oh, yeah, I didn't even know you listened. It's very nice. Um, but yeah, I got some good people, but I don't know how to reach out more and, unless I start getting other random people on. But uh, I don't really have anyone else that really interests me much. So whoever Keep I have on is doing. just... Yeah, I'm just, yeah. I'm just chilling. <laughs> so but yeah i appreciate you guys coming on i appreciate you guys telling me all this stuff you guys have done for who's right and what you guys do outside of who's right um i'm so exhausted <laughs> from talking right now and trying to think of anything very interesting to say to end <laughs> this. what's what's the longest episode you've ever put out um i feel like if I would have combined the How We Work episode, then it would have been the longest one, but I split that up into two. Um, so it would have been about, I think it was almost three hours. So this one will be the longest one, unless I want to split it up again. So we'll see. We'll see how that works. Uh, I want to yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, well see. Well, looking here, the, those two episodes put together still don't even add up to three hours. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I cut out just a little because someone said sensitive information there, but it wasn't, I didn't even cut out much from there. And this one, we haven't had a lot of slow points, <laughs> so I don't think a lot's oh. going to be cut out either, so good stuff, good stuff. This was a good time, I really enjoyed it, I appreciate you having We're me on for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it too, thank you very much, Mariah, yeah, for this lovely, lot lovely opportunity. It's a pleasure getting to meet every one of you, like face to voice and voice to face. Yep. Sounds yes. good books. Everyone write it down. Yeah. History. This is Bible way, number two. Oh what? <laughs> I was gonna say this this is Bible number two. <laughs> no, but um as of twenty twenty four, there are over five million podcasts available worldwide, and I think Damn. I'm wow. happy to just be part of this one. <laughs> oh, well that's nice. Yeah. Well, Amen. I- I never know how to end things because I do that whole southern goodbye thing. So I'm just going to quickly do the thing and say thanks bye, guys. for watching. Bye. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. You're listening to The Variety Show. The Variety Show. The Variety Show. The